hi and welcome to the channel i'm tina um, and i'm going to do the next seven days what energies are going to come in for the next seven days for you all and we are using the good karma tarot um and i have to say this every video i'm not a tarot reader i'm a clairvoyant medium so i use the cards um as i see or feel the energy within them i do know some of them but not all cards so I just take what resonates with me what um, spirit are giving me about the cards so seven of cups has just come out and then we're doing the next seven days so what I've got with that is choice I've got choice I've got growth uh, around these choices and that you know there isn't a wrong choice to make there isn't a wrong turn for some of you, this will be a special um, time, it feels like, because um, I'm drawn to her necklace, which means gifts. Um, it means being presented with something that you didn't realise that you were going to be presented with. So, some sort of surprise coming to you. I've got the growth around her and the opportunity around you coming in. Um, and um, we're exploring and having the adventure but I've also got a relaxed feel around it so um, it could be that you know opportunity comes in some solutions come in or something take what resonates and leave the rest but it's like you don't have to do it within that week you can take your time you can explore your options there because we have the um, we have the treasure around her, feeling around her, so it's um, we're taking our time. Okay, we're well, flipping out. So the seventh of wands has come out, and she's in defense mode. There, she's got her stick up, and the rest are like you know she's surrounded herself, um, and she's kind of like ready to go. So for some of you, that feels like it is like you've built your defenses up, um, and you're now willing to kind of do battle but you're trying to keep it on a safe level of battle so therefore you've put your defenses up and it's there and you're ready uh, and willing to go but sometimes you've got to take those defenses down still be willing and ready to defend yourself still be ready and willing to think on your feet i've got and and think outside of the box but uh, on that kind of feel it's it's like i've got to take the defenses down got to take the sticks down in, that are in front of me um, and then we have the ace of coins coming in we've got our purse open we've got prosperity we've got influence coming in as well so something's going to come in and influence you inspire you that week and we've got um, some sort of inspiration when it comes to money flow um, Again, I just feel like we we also, with this card, we're taking a stand for where we want to be uh, with our opportunities. It could be that some options come at you and they don't blend well with, um, they're not blending well with those that are around you. And then you can become quite defensive by this. So it could be a dream come true and yet it conflicts with somebody else's ideas of what what wants to happen for you and so therefore um it's a kind of like taking up defenses um but sometimes there has to be a compromise and then sometimes for some of you you're going to have to stand your ground and kind of go for the options you want because i'm seeing a really good outcome with um with the ace of coins there we are making progress we also have king of wands so we've got the two two separate ones there um it's like being taking charge a little bit there um feeling the passion um we are getting on board with the passion um and taking charge you see he feels like he's going to you know he's got his hand on his hip the other hand is like right we're ready and then he has the the sun right behind him and um the fire in his the fire in his heart the fire to to move forward um comes in as well now some of you may know tarot by off by heart 
I am going to go with my What I Sense and Feel. Um, I'm painfully slowly learning the cards, <laughs> but I've always been uh, one that use, uh, not uses, but works with spirit, my spirit guides more than anything else. And it's like, um, they interest me, the, the tarot cards, but there's a lot of them to kind of like try and work out and keep in the brain. So I just go with that feeling of what I get intuit uh, intuitively. Um, but I still stand, I've got two choices with him as well, because um, I've just had the, I can see two, uh, the number two, the two staffs right behind him. Um, so lots of opportunity, standing your ground. Um, right, we're using Nature's Whispers what we've got for nature's whispers so we have for some of you it's catch your breath so we have a lot of high energy with the opportunities and options and fire and passion coming in and driving forward and a money kind of flow seeking um where we can make some money and go with the flow um and put our mind to it intellect to it logic to it as well as what I'm also hearing as well um, but then you might want to be at the end of the week the end of the seven days you will want to catch your breath and take a little bit easier at maybe at the weekend uh, we are taking a breath we're hanging on to our nature we're hanging on to our tree do some tree hugging at the end of the week and taking a nice deep breath because we've had all this high energy coming up at us so and clear out the old is the next one and sometimes if we are willing to kind of like clear out the clutter this can be um, physical clutter so a good old sort out over the week it can be mind clutter so to be more mindful of where you when you know what your choices are to be more mindful of what you want to be more mindful of your mind body and soul that type of thing so it could be the catch of the breath is the mindfulness to check in with yourself um two but we put you see there that i feel like you know she's got the key on her well not the key but the the entrance there which looks like a lock um to her and on a necklace around her neck and the steps up towards that so we're moving through that energy and she's blindfolded at the moment in the picture, but I just feel like that energy is shifting. We've got lots of opportunity in this card, lots of wisdom in this card. It just feels like we're entering through that doorway, that new beginning is coming through. And then we've got um, lots of time references, I have to say, because uh, the King of Cups is wearing, oh no, King of Wands, sorry, is wearing a watch. And um, if you can see that this here is a watch too. Um, so it feels like some sort of time reference is coming in. Um, at the start of the reason, I did feel like, you know, they're saying just take your time. Um, opportunities are coming in and inspiration and new ideas and flow comes in. But you do not need to jump at it. It's more like let's explore and have an adventure with the options and see where we're going with it. And I think that's a time reference again coming in. Um, and when we have a fresh approach. Now, of course, with that is that, you know, you're taking up these opportunities coming in and they might actually view that I said before thinking outside the box type of energy um, new perspective new ideas new inspiration coming in that week is a lot going on and then at the end of the week it's catch your breath um, so it might be that you just need to mix things up look at th something from a different perspective or have a fresh view on um, something that's going to come in on that week, on this week. Um, and then we are gaining wishes and gaining prosperity because there's a lot of wish energy in this. We have the clockwork, um, you know, from the dandelion coming up. We also have a 
shooting star with a rainbow behind it. A lot of wish, abundant energy, manifesting energy that I'm getting from this card at this moment. Um, some wisdom and some protection also feels like it's coming from that card. But the fresh approach is key to kind of, there's the key again, is, um, is part and parcel of this week's growth, part and parcel of future events. So it could be whatever opportunities, inspirations, new ideas come in, um, do your spin on it. That's what I've heard spirits say. Do your spin on something that perhaps is you've seen, you think it's a great idea, but really you need to put your own energy into it, your own spin on it. Um, make it your own is what I'm, I'm hearing. Now, for some of you, it might not resonate at all. For some of you, it will. Um, but that's what I am, I am getting with that. So make it your own, whatever energies that is. It could be you've moved house or and you need to make it your own. It could be a career choice. You could be self-employed. There is just so many options to that, but it most definitely feels like a spirit is saying, make something, twist it around, new fresh thing and make it yours. And I'm wearing keys too. I've just realized that I'm wearing locks and keys. So something most definitely is unlocking and changing and coming about this week we have the ten of swords which is the end of um any strife it's the end of something um troubles end of anything that uh yeah i've just five of wands which is is conflict but it's also change it means that there's just change for some of you in conflict or change in something where it's not gone quite right we are shifting through that energy just going to ask to have um some more on this uh energy there where we just need we are shifting moving and trying to move away from anything negative that perhaps has come in from previous weeks and we are shifting it this week Three. <laughs> three cards wanted to flip so we can see there the one she's holding on super tight for so for some of you maybe you're holding on too tight or somebody else is holding on too tight to a situation that's just not good for you or your higher self or just not good all around for the situation needs to let go have an adventure with the knight of wands and move forward he's got his backpack he's got his staff He's got a mountain behind him and trees ready for this new adventure, ready to move forward. And we have the moon with her secrets. Shh. But secrets to be revealed. Answers coming in. Yeah, most definitely feel with this card that we are gaining. We are gaining what I can hear spirits saying. We are gaining the upper hand. We are gaining influence and we are gaining um, inspiration. The moon reveals something to you within this week or the next coming weeks as you find these opportunities coming in. But most definitely we have the moon's energy working with you. So if you like mood energies and working with that type of energy, it'd be a great time this week to have a look at some moon charts is what I can hear. Um, finding out um, any energies that you feel um, around the, the grandmother moon. She's got some influence this week. Some energies, hi. Oh, I just, I have literally just flipped this card um, out. You know what I'm going to do? Because I am not a tarot reader, I'm going to have a quick peek at what the book says um, and, and let you, um, for my own interest as well and my own learning, we're always learning, aren't we? So the King of Wands is great leaders set out um, to achieve an ambition. It's about the goal, not the role. Um, so yes, it's like kind of like... He's a figure to rely on, good counsel. It's about courage. It's about moving forward. 
is about personal growth um, and it's this card is about being stronger or knowing or not realizing that you are actually stronger than you think you are you see he's got power behind him he has passion he has the sun behind him he's got all this energy so just moving forward is definitely um it's an energy to step up into so believing in yourself self-worth that type of thing um growth and opportunity is what i feel from this one I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to say do a little uh, snippet of the card and what I actually sense from the card too, because I think that's more important what I sense off the card than what the you know. But just to give you a overall view. But yeah, most certainly he's got a plan. That's what I feel. He's got a plan, and we are working on that plan. Spirit are working on that plan for you. You're working on that plan for you. And in your investing in yourself is also what I feel. Invest in your mind, body and soul. Invest in the future is also another message when I get pick up this card. Okay. So, like I said, take what resonates and leave the rest. I hope you enjoyed the reading. And I shall see you next time. I am so happy when I see your likes, um, comments and subscribe. So please help me out and subscribe it helps i'm a very very i'm a baby channel at the moment um and i hope to grow over the coming months and years um i do enjoy giving people these types of video readings okay till next time bye